Good afternoon, folks. How's everybody doing today? Well, it's it's so damn humid that you can cut the air with a knife, just about. Although it's uh, 80 degrees, which I hate. I hate anything 80 and above, but uh, there's been no activities outside here. It's been too damn hot. And it looks like it's going to rain, and um, I don't know if it will or not. But <laughs> anyways, um, nothing much has been going on. Um, I probably remember telling you at one time or another <clears throat> that when I was a kid I used to help my dad landscape. Well, that was only like when I was uh, 12, 13, 14 years old and um, I used to go with him on landscape jobs and so forth, but um, I, I was never interested in it and uh, working in the hot sun and stuff. And, but I planted some grass seed about three weeks ago over on the other side there where the gen house is and I bought a bag uh, Grow Anywhere for four dollars at Walmart and I was going to get a little more to add in the area because there's some spots that didn't come up and I went to my local hardware store and they want seven dollars for a pound of that stuff but he mentioned something about perennial or something I'm not sure one comes up once a year like flowers and does not come up again the following year Ooh. well I'm not gonna go out and buy any more seed if this don't come up let me just show you uh, what I've done over here it's coming up pretty good because I didn't cut it and what I did the other night uh, around five o'clock at night I went and got two bags of potting soil and threw it on top sprinkled it on top of the grass uh, but in areas like this it didn't come up and here I did not seed it because I have to walk around here and get into the gin house but eventually I would wanted to do this uh, and then over here it, it needed more seed so I was going to go and throw some seed down and I figured if it's going to rain you know uh, it can just be soaked in and I could rake it in gently in here because this area was you know basically like this uh, no topsoil at all so I just put some potting soil on because that's what I got at the uh, Christmas tree shop in the mall so um, my local hardware store carries a 40 pound bag of topsoil uh, I could have gotten that today but there's no point in getting it because I'm not going to spend seven dollars for a bag of seed and I think that one comes up every year. So this here is up about, oh, two to three inches, I guess. It looks good. Um, but I wanted, to, I wanted to just fill this in because this is where the stump was. And I wanted to kind of like get it filled in. But grass don't grow good here anyways. But I can't believe the price of grass seed. You know, it's outrageous. Things cost so much, so I can see why, uh, you know, the grass around here is like it is, you know. But since I had to dig this area up for the uh, conduit here, for the gen house, and also to get rid of this big stump that was here, because this uh, um, sandbox here, that little black house with the white trim on it, uh, which was originally a cat house for my outside cat about 20 years ago um, Became a sandbox for Seeing the walkways and so forth um, the, the stump got so bad. I just removed the stump and uh, It was all bad to here. So I wanted to just put some grass seed in there, but anyways, I won't mow this um, For a while now all right, the other day, matter of fact, the 4th of July, I bought a quarter inch torque wrench, inch pounds. Now I've got the bigger one, and this was $12, $11.99. And um, this is in case I ever 
do any small engine work, which, you know, like if I have to replace a head gasket or something, but, you know, that would probably be my extent of doing anything like that. Now, I've watched a lot of videos on how to use a torque wrench, and I pretty well know how to to use it, except that it's hard for me to see this because uh, um, it's not bowl type, it's engraved. But anyways, uh, there are videos on how to use this, and always keep it loose when you're not using it. But I've even asked one of my uh, channels I'm subscribed to um, a question about this, but I got no response. Um, he had a video on how to use a torque wrench, and I watched a lot of them and pretty well know how to use it. That's not the problem. The problem is they're telling you in the instruction to back off this neural nut right here. Okay? See this right here? Okay, back it off, and then make your adjustment to wherever you're going to be here. Okay, this is an inch-pound one, which is what I wanted for in case I did uh, small engine work. Okay, I tell you to back it off and then make your adjustment and then tighten this up. Nobody in any video on YouTube addresses this big nut right here. If you're looking at this here, there are two nuts. You got the end one here, the knurled one. They call it a knurled one. You back it off, turn it left to loosen it. Set your adjustment here. But what do you do with this nut? This turns separate from this. This turns separate from this. Nobody addresses this. It's not addressed in the instructions. It's not addressed on, I watched seven or eight YouTube videos on how to use these type torque wrenches and not. One guy addresses what you're supposed to do with this nut. It's obviously got to be adjusted. The question is, do you leave it loose, backed all the way out? Which can back out quite a bit. Do you leave it alone and just worry about the end one? I'm making sure I'm in, in camera here. I don't want to get too close. Or what? Well, you snug it up to the barrel, and then it turns it in unison with the knurled barrel here. And then tighten this up. Then when you tighten this end one up, it locks everything in place, which is understandable. I, un I know how to do this, and I know how you're supposed to do this. Once you set this to the torques that you want to be at, then you tighten the little one up. But what are you supposed to do with this one? I wish some guys would explain this because it's not in the instructions. Of course, as I said, I have the bigger one. I bought this last year uh, when I was doing the van body work and taking off the uh, lug nuts. Uh, Right after I made that video, I went out and bought this, and again, this was $11.99 on sale. But I figured I'd, I needed an inch torque wrench. Now you can convert these to inch pounds. Uh, 12 inch pounds equals one foot pound. So it's not too difficult to find, figure out, but this is designed to be up to 200 inch pounds and uh, it should cover small engines if I, you know, want to make sure I torque down the heads properly. This one, like on the van, the torque specs on the 90 Econoline is 100 pounds. So I checked all the uh, lug nuts after I put them on with the impact and made sure that they were all 100 pounds. So I got, so I know how to use these, but again, this has the same nut situation. So, um, that was my question. What do you do with that bigger nut on the back end of these things? Well, there isn't very much to uh, talk about. It's, it's too humid to do anything. And uh, 
when I go to Harbor Freight, I usually buy a, a, a little, you know, when I have a couple extra bucks and I buy this or that if it's on sale. And, um, you know, it's nice to have something when you need the, the proper tools to work with. And they're not used all that often, so for, in my case, they would hold up pretty good. And, um, if you have a garage or something, you do this as a living, you want better quality tools. But um, it's been said before about that on other videos. But anyways, uh, there isn't very much uh, else going on here. Uh, I hope to be able to get started on the, on the bodywork of the van. Probably, probably going to be in the fall, but I don't know yet. Um, because there's some other things that are, are going to be there uh, coming up. Um, such as uh, my brother's got to move. Uh, and he's got to be out of that house by September. So we haven't heard anything about where he's going yet. And his name is in, but uh, we haven't heard anything. And he's not on the ball for packing up. I can't do the stairs a couple times and my knees are shot. Um, it was killing me when I got rid of all that stuff uh, up in the shop there on the last uh, event and although I was giving the stuff away which I had no problem I didn't wasn't charging anybody anything for the stuff that the guys came and picked up but not one of the fellows offered uh, a little money for my gas and so forth I didn't ask, but, uh, you know, I spent the whole day there going up and down stairs with them and, uh, you know, and uh, just take this, take that, take that, you know, and not one, not one guy um, offered me anything with the exception of one fella who was not on video. Um, <clears throat> he um, picked up four movie projectors for me. He saw my video. He's not on YouTube to my knowledge, but he saw my video. He was in the local area, and uh, even though I said you could take the projectors, he uh, threw me a few bucks for my trouble of coming down there and, and for the gas. And that that's appreciated. I never ask anybody for any money. I said this stuff can be uh, free, and um, and that's what I meant. But, you know, I, I know that if I was getting stuff and somebody was going through the trouble of going through all this stuff and take this, take that, and follow you around and say, you know, take this and give you a hand with it and even, or just showing you and letting you carry it down. The fact that somebody's giving you something, uh, you always should. The, the, only, the right thing to do is to, um, you know, I don't want to make any hard feelings or anything, but, um, you know, it's only right that you know you, you offer somebody something uh, and you know whether and I wouldn't take any money for the stuff but if they wanted to throw me 10 or 20 bucks for my troubles for gas like this other fella did um, that's fine and that's fair if you spend a whole day and so it gets to a point where let the stuff go to the dump you know uh, there's still a lot of stuff over there and I'm done with it uh, you know when the house comes down, my lot, whatever is there, uh, there are some items up there yet. It, it's just going to go with the house. Um, I got headaches with my brother. Uh, he's not on the ball packing up. Um, it's hot as hell up there uh, in the worst months of the year, July and August. And uh, I, I can't take the heat. I just pass out. I can't breathe. The humidity kills me, more so than the heat. And uh, so... You know, and like when we had the auction, the, the the radio auction, I had some people ask me, did I make any money on this? I didn't make nothing. Zilch. Um, I even bought uh, bought my own toolbox back for ten bucks, uh, <laughs> which I showed you. It has the meters in it and everything else. My own stuff. I bought it back because uh, it went to the estate. Some of it went to, well, not the estate, it went to the uh, uh, the museum, some of the money went to. But the reason I didn't fight it uh, is because uh, the fellow that was storing the stuff for me, who was running the auction, he stored it for three or four years. 
and he wouldn't take any money for storage. So I said, well, you can have this, you can have that, and I don't want any money out of it. But again, I was never offered anything there either. So uh, I, I gave him, <clears throat> for his trouble, before all this came about, I gave him my 6000A tube tester, Hickok. I gave it to him. Uh, and my good solder, well, a good soldering station. So, um, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I say I want to give this away and give that away. That's fine, but, you know, um, but nobody offers anything, and, and you know, for my troubles. And so I'm not going to ramble on about it because uh, it's not going to cry over spilt milk. But it, it, it does bother me somewhat. And, you know, I'm not saying this to expect anybody to send me anything. It's just say that you live and learn, and I'll, I will never do that again. Um, I've had one item that uh, someone paid for, and it was nice enough to uh, send me money for that. And I shipped it out to them, and uh, uh, that was fine. But I, I'm referring to the ones that actually came to the place physically and picked up items. Free, take it. That is true. Free, take it. Yes. But um, offer it, you know, at least offer me some, you know, gas money or something for my troubles. Um, my knees, the next day I couldn't even walk because my knees were killing me and I was tired, I was exhausted. Up and down, up and down, I can't hold myself back going downstairs, let alone carrying anything. You know, and um, it, I'm just getting old. <laughs> and I'm lucky I'm able to do things here. I'm on flat ground and I, I, I have to do a few stairs, not a problem. Um, <clears throat> so when my brother moves, if he does, and he's going to have to, he's going to be out on the street. Um, I'm going to have to hire a moving guy, and you just can't hire a John Doe uh, with a couple of guys in a truck because they have to be insured. If one of them falls down the stairs and breaks his neck, what's going to happen to me or my brother? We don't have any money, you know? So we have to pay, or he would have to pay with his, he's got some money, a few bucks in the account. So he would have to pay for a, uh, a moving guy and I'll have to supervise him basically so I still got to do stairs and you know I'm not looking forward to it <clears throat> I'm going to end this video now and I'll probably do a lot of editing on it thank you for watching and you have a good day